All right, um, I'm going to do problem one from 2005 form B of the Calc AB exam. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is define these functions that I'm given. So I'm given f of x. This is your standard volume and area problem. Um, so define that. Make sure it's right. Uh, and then g of x is set equal to. Remember, you have a key for that. That's colon and then the templates and then that's going to be e to the x over 2. Okay, so I have those. Uh, now what I'm going to do is graph it to so doc 4, 4 and I want to graph f of x and I want to graph g of x. I'm also going to change the window, so I'm going to pull it 1. I'm going to make it look a little more like um, what they've given us here. So let's go from negative 1 to 3, and let's go from negative 1 to uh, 3. Let's see what that looks like. That's not so bad. Um, so I need that intersection point. So menu, 6, and intersection. Uh, that one I can tell is at 0. Well, I mean, I guess I should find it anyway, but it's at 0. Um, so the point that I really want is over there. I'm going to store that. So I click it, control store. I'm going to call it A. And right now I'd write on my paper, let A equal 1.13569. If you're not seeing all those decimals, it's okay because once you save it, um, it doesn't really matter. It stores all the decimals for you, but uh, in general, it's press menu settings. Um, I always go with float 6. And then I make it the default. Um, but I'm already set up for that. So now I have that. And what I want to do now is go back to my calculator page and answer part A. So part A is to find the area of A. Um, and I know that the area of A is going to be the integral from 0 to, uh, no, the area of R. Sorry, I called it A. Got A on my brain here. Um, and then I've actually defined the function. So I can see from their picture that F is the top function and um, G is the bottom function and then put in an X, and there you go. And that would really be my work, pretty much. So I would have already defined A, let A equal, um, and left it at that. Um, part B here is to find the volume of the solid. So the volume of the solid in this case is, um, we need a pi, so pi, and then it's gonna be a definite integral again, the integral, and it's from zero to A once again. And it's going to be the outer curve, which is f of x, minus the axis, which is 0. I like to throw that in uh, for when it's not 0. So that's outer minus axis squared minus, and then it's going to be the inner curve, so the one that's closer to the axis, minus the axis squared. And then dx. And get that. Um, so I'd write my answer, 4.267. That's what I would write, because I'm just used to rounding. Um, and then the next question is, um, R is the base of a solid and the cross sections perpendicular to the x axis are semicircles. So I know how to do that because I've done like a trillion of these. So I know that's going to be uh, pi over 8. It's easier for me to type pi, but I'll do this pi over 8. And then it's the definite integral from 0 to A of, so uh, it's top take away bottom and then squared dx. And um, that's really small, but uh, you know, that's the answer. Uh, where that comes from is, uh, let me insert a uh, problem here. Uh, so. Where that's coming from is that um, g of x minus f of x, or, sorry, f of x minus g of x, top take away bottom. That's actually the diameter. And so the radius would be half of that. And uh, what we want is we want uh, pi times the radius squared. So that's where we get f of x minus g of x squared. Um, right now we have over 4 if we expand that. 
but it's a semicircle, so I only want half of that. So I would have to divide that by two. Um, so that's where you can see what I want to do now is I want to integrate that because that's the area of the cross section. Um, so if we go back, you can see that that's where I got pi over eight and then the integral from zero to a of top takeaway bottom squared. But it's always going to be that. So uh, I don't know. I kind of advocate that you actually commit that one to memory. Um, so that's how I would have done this problem. Uh, I hope you find this useful and uh, good luck.